Huh, looks more gray in person. How am I gonna sit in this? <laughs> uh. All right. Jeez, that is loud. <laughs> that is so loud. That's it. So this is the automatic hard top, right? Yeah. So this goes literally straight back. Bro, that is the coolest thing ever, dude. Yeah, so it makes it easier. That it's is, fun. dude. That is so sick. Wow, that's actually like made for this, what? Oh, and I love this. These are the light up ones, right? Yeah. Yeah, dude, I've always wanted to wonder like how you could wire that in a clean way. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's really nice. Alrighty, so we're here with Rusty, the owner of this beautiful MX-5. It is the hard top, so it has the, I don't know what if that is, is yeah, it actually so, just the hard top? It's the, it's the RF Grand Sport or Grand Touring. Uh, so it is, yeah, the full hard top retractable roof. <laughs> yeah, it is so nice and pretty crazy. So we got, we got a good amount to talk about. So I guess mainly we could just start with probably one of the biggest eye catchers here, which will be that Marlboro livery that you have. So one, what made you go with the Marlboro livery? And two, how did it happen? Who designed it? Um, yeah, so the biggest thing is I'm a huge race fan, F1, you know, Formula One racing fan. So I always wanted a car that I could do this kind of livery on. But a lot of the cars that I have didn't have the body lines that were really made for it. So that's when I got this one. It was something that we already had in the works. Mm -hmm. So this was designed by myself and Danny from New View Tints, who helps us out with a lot of our wrapping and tint jobs at Speed Zone. So when we were coming up with this, we were just like, it's gonna lay perfectly. Just the way the body is, the way we wanted the angles. So mm. it just flowed very, very well. Yes. And that's what we love. It really does, especially with the red just coming up to like half part of the car. So I know that you said like the body lines. So I'm assuming this was essentially thought about for other cars too. Um, or was it just the MX-5 like I want this on an MX-5? I've had a lot of like kind of like Conjo inspired cars before. Mm -hmm. um, all the way from, you know, Honda Fits to EP3s to a really badass uh, Mini Cooper. But when I got this one, I was like, it just fits it way too well. It does. And I know it really that's a huge does. like Honda scene thing to do for yeah. Conjo racing, but mm -hmm. it's just the way that the wheels sit, the way the car sits, the body of it. And I'm like, oh, this is a perfect. Yeah. I love the fact that it's, you know, it, although like the Conjo scene is mainly Hondas, it doesn't have to be. No. You know, it, it just is because that's just what they had available. Yeah, it was but just a fantastic setup. So. Yeah, so this yeah. came out so sick again. And just the selection of like, now now we're gonna go on to the wheels now, but just the selection with like the wheel and tires, for example, how the wheels are smaller and you have that really thick side profile of the tires. One of the um, tire for sure. Yes. Tell me about the Oni. So was it a hassle to get them? I know that again, like Advan is a <laughs> bit, you know, like. So I, I went through four sets of wheels in this car already in like the six <laughs> months that I've owned it. Dude. At first, we had had some 16 inch uh, Volk ZE40s, the mm -hmm. international versions. So those are already a hard wheel to get. Was able to get it because we work with a great manufacturer at Mackin Industries who takes care of all of the Yokohama wheels, Advan wheels, uh, Volk and Rays. So after that setup, I went to the whole Stance Boy route because mm -hmm. I wanted to go really wide <laughs> and yeah. you know, small offset. Funny enough, these things are already wide enough. Yeah, they really like, are. Like as from where this driver sits to That's heading insane. outwards, yeah. But as soon as I started doing more of the rap and getting more into, you know, driving the car and really wanted to kind of have it as like a functional racing car, um, I saw the Onis and I was like, ooh, <laughs> like, this is a nice like classic stadium stuff. <laughs> yes, it looks so really good. I really good. wanted to go that route. And then I paired it with the uh, Yokohama Advan tires mm -hmm. as well. So the whole Advan Yokohama setup from tires. Yeah, to it was dude, just perfect. It, it looks and it matches yeah. it so well, just it does. like. It flows so well for like the road yeah. through. Exactly, but, uh, exactly. And so I know that, again, the suspension on these are already pretty good. Um, is it just coilovers? Or. Yeah, so. The beautiful thing about the MX-5s is they come very, very well set up from factory. Yes, they do, uh, yeah. But mm -hmm. the problem is, is since they're a very tall car from factory, they have a lot of body lean. Mm. So the, all your sway bars, all your um, in links, all your camber arms, toe arms, like this thing is fully, fully set up. But 
once you drop it is when you really start feeling like what the car can do. Yeah. So I have reaction coilovers, 32 way adjustable. Right now it's sitting at 3.8 inches lowered from stock. Um, and then I just have a Tanabi front strut bar. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. Yeah, Everything that's it. Yeah, no, I know that these things were like, it sits on rails. It's yeah, <laughs> and it looks so good, man. Yeah. It looks so good. And I know these things, again, from factory, they were just so well set up. I know that the body roll was always pretty bad. Yes. Um, but so you just you did sway bars then and yeah. then and then just the coilovers and then coilovers 32 way adjustable so that way yeah. i can set up all my dampening how i want mm -hmm. um and that's constantly changing for me just because of i am changing height quite a bit whenever i do different uh variations of wheels yeah and since it's been on you know four different sets do you ever get indecisive on like when it's sitting you're just like hmm I want to raise the back or the front or I want to lower the front a bit or yes. blah, 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 blah. Like. Usually, <laughs> and I did it when I was doing the stance route for a little bit. We we adjusted the suspension like a total of five times, <laughs> like just to get that fitted right. Yeah. Um, and I've left that stance with these wheels Good. because I really wanted to stay low mm -hmm. and having that chunky tire, like, I don't know. It just makes you, Yeah, great. it does. It does. And you, you really got to like dial it in. Yeah. I know that a lot of like thin like sidewalls are like kind of like a big it's of the hard. main thing but it is hard yeah now, like it's definitely a lot more functional than it was before so that's what i was going to ask you how's the translation from the road to you to you the driver with the thicker side profiles it's amazing mm -hmm. it really really is um it's definitely a lot more confidence like going into cornering that's what i because my huge. yeah because my sc has like thinner side pro yep. side walls and i'm kind of like uh, i don't i don't really like it too much because the smallest bumps are like boom oh you feel it yeah uh, the setup i had before this was a 16 by nine but mm -hmm. i was on a 195 40 tire so my lip Jeez. was a little bit out so as soon as i would take a corner like you know the fun like exit ramps yeah and ramps, yeah yeah um it was only a matter of time before that rim like started touching the ground oh my so, god that's, that's sketchy when, yeah, <laughs> that's so that's sketchy like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> that's so <laughs> sketchy um and so i guess let's let's move on a little bit closer yeah. to the car the wheels are, are look amazing there's some custom things done to the like plastic trim so yeah. tell me a little bit on that. Was that before the Marlboro Definitely look went on? Before the Marlboro. So I was very, very clean. Like you see the, the whole car is like the ceramic silver. Yes. Um, and I had white with polished lip wheels on it. So it was super, super like monotone with mm -hmm. very different variations of like whites and silvers. Um, but then in the, in the interior, I really wanted it to be like way more colorful and a little more fun. So graphics guys helped me out in Kissimmee set me up with the interior and then it helped match the the floral shift knob yeah it, it, that's why it looks so good yeah. like you know it, it's a good contrast to the exterior of the car i'll switch it to like a little bit more like race inspired later but for right now it's just i don't know it makes me smile every time yeah <laughs> i love the floral it. thing I, the yeah. floral shift knob i want one myself um it brings everything back to the yeah. japanese yeah it does right it does it, it's kind of like ties it all in are, are there any power mods done to it if so, so the, like the mm. two biggest power mods right now is just an intake and then and we did a full custom cat back, mm -hmm. uh, three inch all the way back. Yeah, which looks um, so insane, that, by the way. <laughs> that was nuts because that is full blast pipe. Jesus, so it's loud. Right now, it's so there's loud. No, there's no resonator, so it's, it's the neighborhood wake her up. <laughs> it's the neighborhood alarm. <laughs> yeah, but since we're going a little more race style, uh, we're going to be changing that in the near future because I want to build up a little more back pressure. Yeah. Get a little more power down to it. Mm -hmm. Um, and then later on, you know, we'll be going headers and all that fun stuff. Yeah. And so it, right now, yeah. it's it, just short shifter, intake, exhaust, mm -hmm. and really just enjoying driving the shift. Yeah, the car. exactly. I mean, again, these things were just so well tuned as a driver's yeah. car. Like, there isn't much to do to them already. I mean, yeah, you could make power and things like that, but then you start getting the then, yeah, exactly. So it's still yeah. like they're just fun like sure. you don't you really don't need to add yeah, anything else power to weight ratio yeah exactly why, why stray away from that miata dna yeah, exactly. you know <laughs> really are there any plans for it in the future maybe any anything that you might want to do yeah so the marble thing will only last for a couple more months going into 2023 it'll be a whole new revamp unfortunately the onis will be going as well ah those are so cool yeah, so um it's just going to be a completely different setup car and mm -hmm. we're going to do like more of like a closer to like a gp 
style setup. So I'll have bigger wheels, better profile tires. We're gonna do more aero to it. It'll mm -hmm. be a completely different wrap. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, that and dude, it's gonna look so good. Is it? I bet it is. I yeah. bet it is. I mean, considering this, like, it's an eye catcher for sure. Oh, for sure. It's definitely fun to see people's reactions. <laughs> Yeah. Um, now, I see that this lip right there, is this side skirt OEM? Yeah. Really? Yeah, so that comes with basically all the RF models, all your base models, and still you, until you start getting into the sports. Mm -hmm. And on the MX-5 sports, they'll come with like an extended side skirt with a little bit of like a fin. Oh, yeah. These are really nice, by the way. I, yeah. Again, I thought that that lip wasn't even, yeah, wasn't I, OEM, considering it. Out away from the side skirt lip because I already hit my front lip oh, tremendously man. on everything <laughs> and the side skirt would just get even more of a have you had have you had to go through multiple bumpers or so no I pulled the bumper off once unfortunately um, but I've gone through three exhausts already oh damn so, <laughs> even worse <laughs> so we went a bigger diameter exhaust um, just for the sound and a little more power um, unfortunately like I have gone through those just because of how low the car sits. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's kind of part of it. Yeah, you know, it is. It's do. part of the game. It's yeah. part of the game. Um, but hey, is it okay if I look under the hood and take a look at some things here? Dang, wait, so the car was this color already? Yeah. What? It was the silver all the way through and through. Oh, That's why the, the man. Just fit so well I know, it. yeah. I, I thought you guys pulled it and then, like, you know, like repainted everything considering uh, uh, I, I started seeing everything, but no, yeah, it's but so nice. The it's... next, the next thing will be a full color change. Oh, gotcha. Would you be painting engine bay and and everything nah. else? Nah. Okay. I, I I really just... like that silver, so yeah. I'll be doing something that'll reflect and bring the silver out. Oh, the gotcha. Yeah. Smart. That's smart. It's yeah, gonna look so that. nice. It's gonna look so nice. Um, and so where'd you get this from? The Tanab Tanabi, uh, yeah, kind of like Tanabi his truck? Upper mount strut bars. That's mm -hmm. from us and, and Speed Zone. So mm -hmm. we're direct with them. Same with Reaction. Same with. Mm -hmm all Advan stuff and Yokohamas. So it's been super beneficial since I work in the car performance industry <laughs> yeah. um, to be able to find stuff and have it in stock. So mm -hmm. we deal with a lot of companies that keep everything pretty yeah. solid for us, which is nice. And and so again, you've been mentioning Speed Zone a bit and, and just to the people that don't know, so tell us a little bit about Speed Zone. Tell us about like yeah, so what I it manage, is. I manage one of the shops here in Orlando, Florida for Speed Zone Performance um, and we literally do everything like this. So. <laughs> This. Full on builds. I mean, this is just the beginning of a lot of stuff. Uh, but you know, anything from suspension to wheels to performance. Of course, we have our in-house wrap and tinter that does a lot of stuff for us. So it's just car modification. Definitely. Full full. That's mm -hmm. what we love doing. So we do a lot of stuff to our own cars. So that way we can, you know, test them out and do what we need to do. Yeah, and showcase and show your work. Speed Zone, it's a great place. You know, you could get a ton of great parts and if they don't have it, they'll find it for you. So they they will help you out with that a ton. And they're always like a good backup to find things essentially. Especially since this is like the, the newer chassis. Mm -hmm. um, so the ND is not, it has a solid support so far, but it doesn't have the big support like the NA, the NB, and NC. Yes, does, correct. You know, for the Miatas. Correct. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're starting to see a lot of good stuff coming to the States finally, but a lot of stuff is still out in Japan, still mm -hmm. in Thailand, still yeah. in Malaysia. Yep. Like, that's where you're finding a lot of good stuff for these cars. We're working with them to bring stuff over. Exactly. So, Absolutely. you know, everyone has to stay in touch with Speed Zone. They have three locations. Where, where are they? Yes, we have Orlando, Tampa, and Kissimmee. You know, yes. We're, we're there. And of course, I will put the locations market. down and yeah. here and website everywhere in the description below as well. But it has been a pleasure talking about this. I'm pretty sure we reviewed a lot of things, if not everything. Yeah. Um, it has been a pleasure talking about this. Probably going to get a little bit more shots. But once again, Rusty, thank you so much, my You're friend. Very welcome. Yes. It was. This again, this is one entertaining car to look at and I'm, I'm so excited to just to get, to get some more shots, but thank you, dude. Pleasure. Dude, yes.